The training grounds is one of the most enjoyable and fun parts of Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. It's really the place in the game where you can truly test your strategic and tactical mind against other players. It's devoid of the likes of stats, base attacks, army size, so you really go mono a mono against other players and you can really see who is the smartest and best Gotwick player of all. Now. The mere title of this video may have reminded some of you out there that this uh, part of the game even exists because you may have just been clicking blitz for every day for the past seven months and if so you are very welcome for being reminded of such a wonderful feature and i have no doubt in my mind this video is gonna really motivate you to get serious about this part of the game again so with training grounds serving as a tactical arena where it really emphasizes the strategic parts of this game. So of course, through that, that means you're going to want to be using the countering system. You're going to want to be using, of course, infantry into spearmen, cavalry into infantry, and spearmen into cavalry. But if you get stuck versus, say, like a seg tank as the, the tankiest infantry commander in the game, just forget about all of that and just use Julian into him to one-shot him with his active, despite being a spearman commander. Why it works, I don't know. It just works. Just forget about everything I've just said and just commit fully to bro science because thinking anything through in this part of the game uh, is going to lead you to absolutely nowhere. Bro science will always succeed over any amount of thinking in the training grounds. Uh, developing your account is going to be very useful here. Uh, if you build up all your commanders to gold rarity or to level 80 with their maximum commander ranks, uh, you're going to guaranteed beat anyone with inferior commanders to you. You're definitely not going to get stuck uh, losing to your own free-to-play alts uh, over and over and over and over again for absolutely no logical reason whatsoever. In the very, very rare situation where something like that does happen, as I've said, we go back to it all the time, bro science is key. If you have no idea what to do, don't think. Just mirror the exact formation of your opponent and just attack 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 and just pray you eventually win if you don't buy more attempts and just attack 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 until eventually your head goes through that brick wall you're more than welcome for these little nuggets of advice what i have just described there is a bit of an allusion to a rare breed of gotwick player who makes training grounds their home now these players are known as training ground demons. Now these are a very rare species of degenerate who overlook the entire purpose of training grounds, which is of course passive diamond income over here, and instead they prioritize ego and spite, driving up bills of tens and tens of thousands of blue diamonds to prove that they are in fact tactically superior and smarter than you are. They live for that thrill of the smug little self-satisfied grin that spreads across their face when they finally knock you down just one spot after 37 consecutive attempts uh, using different formations every time and that one win they know that will overall the 2.6 percent win ratio and emptied blue diamond stores because that one win proves clearly that they are the superior Gotwick player and that you must now bow down to their greatness and refer to them as your majesty. Now of course the rest of us in the Gotwick community we realize that these people are just absolutely mental and are just hemorrhaging their diamonds out of pure stupidity but cultural differences will always exist between different species and that is the beauty of life itself. Now on the opposite end of this you have another type of training ground player they are called the Horder. Now, these players are like, think of Smaug in The Hobbit, where they're just sat on an ever accruing amount of wealth. So, your typical training grounds hoarder, they'll be sat on, say, 2.9 million diamonds hoarded over four years. And unfortunately for them, there is only one inevitable outcome either somebody else babysitting the account accidentally claims the diamonds and proceeds to get berated 
as if they had just killed the Diamond Hoarder's firstborn child, or the Diamond Hoarder themselves accidentally claims them and immediately falls into a pit of depression and self-hatred as they realize the life-altering mistake that they have just made. And truly, my thoughts and prayers go out to anyone out there who has been affected by such a terrible travesty, and I really hope that your life has gone better since that incident. But all in all, that is pretty much Training Ground summed up. 